हेलो एवरीवन इन मशीन लर्निंग प्रोग्राम द नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट इज स्टूडेंट प्लेसमेंट मीन्स हाउ मच स्टूडेंट गेट प्लेसमेंट और नोट सो फर्स्ट यू विल हैव इंस्टॉल दिस लाइब्रेरी इन माय लास्ट प्रोजेक्ट आई आल्सो टोल्ड यू यू अबाउट दिस लाइब्रेरी द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस लाइब्रेरी वी कैन इफ वी यूज दिस लाइब्रेरी देन देर इज नो नीड टू यूज नम्पाय लाइब्रेरी पांडस लाइब्रेरी सी बॉन एंड मैट प्रॉट प्लीज सो फर्स्ट यू विल हैव इंस्टॉल दिस लाइब्रेरी आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल सो यू कैन इंस्टॉल दिस लाइब्रेरी देन इम्पोर्ट दिस लाइब्रेरी इस वर्गी now this is the uh, data set name college place dot csv you can download this data set on my github uh, account as well as kaggle account where you can find this data set okay so df where i pass the data set name and then r r is used for the uh, unique uh, if we i not mention this r that it give the unicode uh, error that's why we i am using the r so this is the da data set where is a column name is gender and stream internship cgpa hostel and history of the uh, backlog and placement or not now i want to see the how many rows and columns so these are the rows 2966 and 8 columns same is the df dot size want to see the so this is the size is the data set size is 23728 describe in uh, statical value it show the statical values so these are the statical values next is the information it give the integer type or float type so it give the is integer 64 gender object type and stream in also uh, object internship integer all are the integer values next check the there is any null value so there is no any null value it also give the sum use for the total if there is any null value it give the total of the null value but there is no any null values now next one is the converting the numeric uh, category data because there is the gender is a, and also stream is the categorical data you can see this this is the uh, gender and stream is the so it convert into numeric value so df where i pass the gender dot replace and then i pass the give the array where male female and uh, the um, value is male 0 and female is 1 and in place is equal to 2 equal sign to is it in place equal to means that data remain after changing the same so that's why we give the true value if we not give the the data will change like before we use the data so that time we have changed the data 0 1 so i want that it remain same as it so we use the in place equal true the next one is also the converting the same stream stream so these this is the uh, values uh, uh, column values electronic and communication computer science information technology same is df which we want to uh, convert it stream is a uh, column name then dot replace then this is the column values or the civil so there is a six total six values so uh, the python we use the h0 as a index value so 1 2 3 4 5 we give the and same is in place equal to so you can see that is gender 01 stream also 012 so it convert the values now i want to see the number of total number of unique value for of stream 
so you can see that there is a six value stream has a column value six because i have using the zero one two three four five it means six value if we count that six value now we i uh, create a new data set because uh, uh, a new data set uh, we convert the categorical data so i want that copy it, this data so this is the new data set df1 there where we we use the gender 0101 form and stream is also 012 and you can see the four ones. this is the correlation so this is the variable name and df1 new data frame name that dot co so you can see the it give the is into correlation gender stream and all these column the next one is also the plt now uh, we, uh, we want to visualize the data so where i using the plt dot figure then figure size give the fix size is 12 9 you can uh, give anything and then title we give the stream versus placement or not and i am using the bar plot so sna dot bar plot x i pass the stream and y is a placement or not and uh, data is equal to df1 so you can see that by plotting the data this is the stream stream value first is the electronic then computer science all these are the five values 0 1 2 3 5 so placement is is a electronic uh, which is filled in the electronic just first one is a electronic and communication zero value is a computer then second so person is placement are electronic that second uh, second is uh, second one is the information tech i think i information technology Com uh, information technology the second one is the placement is the information then third is computer science all these are the by using the bar plot next is is distributed plot so pl then plt dot figure where figure size i have uh, passed then uh, sns where i pass the this plot and data frame name then give the value internship how many uh, student take internship then title is, is a stream plot x level where i pass internship and uh, here y level where i pass the placement or not so again this is the you can see the information technology have got the greater number placement is a above the 3.0 32 above the uh, minimum 40 percent and minimum 10 percent the next one is is the information third one is the information technology person is for the placement see all are these next is the i want to see the gender count the gender so you can see the gender zero means male and one means female it count the so gender value is greater than female is a count same is a count plot where we count the stream so you can see there is a zero one so stream value student take the computer science is a more then second is information technology then all are civil mechanical level 
higher level is the computer science student. The next one is scatter plot where pass the figure size 7 by 7 in 5 then SNS scatter plot X I pass the internship and Y placement use may use where I pass the stream and data is equal equal df1 so you can see the g0 is a light uh, of light one is the computer science then information technology then mechanical so you can see the score uh, the placement is Is a, where is the last one is civil uh, student get the placement because one is the, and is also the this one 3.0 and there is this is it figure 10 and 7 then count load where we uh, pass the how much the placement or not and data is equal so you can see the zero means placement and one is not placement so you can see the place placement is a very less than not placement ratio is very less in placement next is x where I pass the data frame name dot drop placement or not and access is equal to equal one then y is uh, the uh, data frame name where I pass the placement or not and value dot d shape d shape minus one to one means comma uh, comma so many, sorry column remain uh, same where the uh, all values in row remain same next one is we pass the uh, sklearn module where train and testing train test and split so it's working now the x train we pass data is splitting x train x text y train y test and equal train test split then we pass the x and y value and test size is 0 0.2 means 80 percent in training data and 20 percent is testing data and random state equals zero so it's working now you can uh, see the output by one by one I am using only x to train shape now this this time x train shape is 2372 and 7 columns this is the row and column you can use all you know, check all these y train dot shape x dot shape next is the day I am using the uh, logical regression because the data is a categorical that's why we are using the logical regression and there is the import the also the matrix used uh, use for the accuracy to check the accuracy this is the method uh, I have take the variable log where I pass the logistic regression it's working next we Fit log uh, dot fit where we pass the x train and y train. So this show the logical regression. The next one is where we pass the y. Uh, this is the variable name, name y predict equal then log dot predict. We want to predict the x test. So how much the accuracy of the x text? So it show the x text values one zero zero 
these are the value after testing data now we want to see the score sorry score of x test and y test this uh, you can also use by the matrix dot accuracy you can use this one you can use first one and you can use second both output is the same so it gives the output then 77% score is accuracy it gives the 77% accuracy the next one is the decision tree i am next module i am using the decision tree so it's working then dt is a variable name and where i pass the decision tree and criterion equals and guinea is a guinea we use the default value and the, and the criterion we is a parameter it uh, mainly used for the measure the impurity uh, level so it give the decision tree now same is uh, dt dot fit where i pass uh, parameter x train and y train so it show the is a decision tree then we predict the same thing is predict the data so it predict the data after testing triple one zero triple zero this is the data now check the accuracy um, in decision tree if we, if we use the module so uh, in compared to logistic irrigation decision tree has uh, uh, accuracy more than logistic I'm not doing so 87 percent and uh, logistic reg uh, regression show the 77 percent accuracy and decision tree is 87 uh, percent the next one is also using the random forest classifier because data is also we use the also uh, uh, categorical data that's why we use the classical classifier so it's working the next is the rf is a variable name where pass the random forest and then n underscore estimator equal sign 100 uh, this is the number where we, we can pass uh, the number uh, because we, we can use the average tree or prediction if we use the higher uh, number of tree it give the uh, better performance that's why we use the 100 but uh, the um, negative point is that uh, the, it the make the code slower result is good but uh, code makes slower so this is a random forest then next is the rf dot fit where we this one is also so this is a random forest next is is a variable name this is the variable name y underscore predict and rf equal sign rf dot predict where pass the x data so you can see the after predicting the data is it triple one triple zero is equal to decision tree triple one triple zero one one so after testing the data is equal this one is equal but there is zero zero there is one now just check the accuracy so it's give the random forest give the 86 percent accuracy and uh, decision tree show the 87 percent thanks for watching